What's happening, y'all? This is Andrew from Mirror Music 99, and I'm back to do another reaction video. Now, I know I spent a lot of time talking about hip-hop music on this on this channel because, you know, I am I'm learning myself about it. And I found one of the best ways to learn is to talk with Coop about it on our show and to talk about it with y'all. And because when I screw something up or when I'm you know, missing information, y'all in the comment section, I'll fill me in on what I'm missing. Um, so it's been a really cool educational experience for me. Um, this is not a hip hop song. Um, this is um, one of my favorite bands covering another one of my favorite bands. Um, Dave Matthews, the Dave Matthews band traditionally and has for many, many years done a three day Labor Day weekend set at the Gorge Amphitheater, which is in kind of central eastern ish Washington state, um, above the Columbia River. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, I have never been, I've seen pictures. My, my wife has been many times to that particular set of shows at the Gorge. Um, but this weekend, um, or not, what, well, last weekend, I guess, um, they played a cover of Pearl Jam's song, Just Breathe, um, as part of, as part of that show. So I wanted to share that with you. I've not listened to this cover of it yet. Um, but I love Dave and I love Pearl Jam and I love the song. So I can't imagine it being bad. So, um, Ed Vedder, Eddie Vedder is one of the preeminent poets of, of his generation as well as is Dave Matthews. So, um, I don't know that I will do a whole lot of, you know, conversation or analysis of this, but I just wanted to share it with you um, because it's a really fucking good song. Obviously, this is live. It's a very simple one guy and a guitar. You hear the woos in the background because they're starting to recognize what it is. I'm a lucky man to count on both my hands, the ones I love. I'm a lucky man to count on both my hands, the ones I love. Some folks just have one, others they got none. Some folks just got one, and some folks got none. Stay with me. Under everything is just another human being, man. Yeah, I don't wanna hurt. There's so much in this world that make me believe. So much in this world that can make me believe. Stay with me. It's your own. so many songs with that kind of ethos that you know didn't I say I want you didn't I say I need you and if I didn't then like I'm I'm the idiot I should have said it right um so yeah it's it's a, it's a sense of longing right and of regret that um that maybe there was something you should have said or he should have said um to somebody sooner right and that person might be gone now and um it's, it's a warning is not the word but it's an encouragement for us to tell the people we love we love them while they're still here with us I 
I didn't, I'm a fool, you see. He knows this more than me. It's an apology, too, right? simple chords, but the way he's playing it's pretty complex too, like his strumming patterns. Nothing you would take and everything you gave. I will love you till I die. I'll meet you on the other side. meet you on the other side. It's such a beautiful song. Um, it's an example of how, I guess like in hip hop, the boom, boom, clap, the boom, boom, right? That beat, um, the, the classic hip hop beat, um, or I don't want to use the word original because I'm, I'm not a historian enough to know that, but the, the basics can still be done in the modern world in a beautiful and new and innovative and, um, a way that that touches your heartstrings, right? Um, and this, the the singer songwriter, just one dude with the guitar playing. They call them cowboy chords, just the ones up at the top of the top of the fretboard, top of the neck. Um, the very simple, basic chords. Um, they can still be used even in you know twenty twenty three to great effect. Um, there's something powerful about somebody who can captivate an audience of you know thousands and thousands of people with just one instrument right um i think of that um sort of like a mc going acapella over um over when the beat drops out or whatever i guess that's i've talked about how that kind of flow excites me really like it it draws me in um in the same way um, of what he's doing here. It was just, just one guy, one guitar. Um, it works with a piano. It works with whatever instrument. It doesn't matter what the instrument is, but it, it draws me in, in a way, and it's beautiful, and it makes me want to go in the other room and tell my people I love them now, so I'm going to do that. You go do that too. Call your mama, and we'll see you next time. Take care, y'all.